assalamu alaikum friends my name is mohammed yunus and i am audio technical developer in today's video we are going to configure incoming and outgoing mail server with gmail in udo 18 so let me show you that i am logged in in uh, udo 18 enterprise edition and in the settings page uh, you will be able to see this configuration so let me go to the settings and then you once you scroll down you will see use custom email server you need to activate this and then you will see this option here uh, in the incoming and outgoing we have a couple of options where we can configure the outgoing mail servers so uh, you can configure as IMAP, pop local and gmail and uh, outlook uh, authentication so as uh, we know that odoo provides uh, gmail auth authentication so we can use this feature to uh, configure is it is outgoing and incoming mail server this is the more secure way to send emails because uh, if we configure it as imap or uh, pop server there is a chance like for example you need to provide the username and password and if there is any two-factor authentication then uh, then uh, you cannot configure it so you need to remove that so uh, the easiest way is to configure it as gmail auth authentication and for this purpose you just need to go back to the settings page and you just need to click uh, this link so here you need to click this uh, link and here you it will redirect you to the google cloud console so if you have already a project you can just select it but if you don't have a project uh, you need to create a new project so let me switch to the email which i want to configure so currently i don't have any project so let me just uh, click and agree and i will create a new project so just you need to uh, like if you have a project you need to click here select a project i don't have any project let me create a new project so here you need to give the name is Udo, and uh, if uh, you are using uh, your personal uh, email then you uh, need to select no organization but if uh, you have any uh, organization you can select google works workspace so just click create button here so once you click the create button it will just take a few seconds to create the project and set it up okay so the project is ready and let me just select the project and now this is it so the project is selected now we need to go to this page oauth cons consent screen so let me click here and so here we need to configure the user type so uh, in our case we are using like we have the personal email so therefore it only supports external user type but uh, in some cases like if you have the option you can uh, select internal so choose the user and then you need to click the create button so here uh, we need to provide the information so here we need to add Udo, and then here we need to add the email address that we are currently logged in and uh, in the app domain authorized domain we need to add the domain for the Udo, which is udu.com like this and then we need to add a developer uh, contract email so the email should be the same like unis method 68 at the red gmail.com 68 at the rate gmail.com like this and then save it so you need to uh, skip this second option which is scope save and continue and then we don't want to add the test user now so we need to move to the next step and then uh, click on back to dashboard okay so once this is done then we need to create the credentials uh, to uh, add those credentials in the settings so click on this create credentials and then you need to select the second option what client id so once you select it here you need to choose a web application because Udo is a web application here you need to add the name Udo and then here you need to add the authorized redirect URL this is the URL of your database in our case we are using uh, we are on the run board so I will just copy this URL but in uh, your case it will be the database URL okay and then here we need to add a uh, Google uh, Google Gmail and then confirm like this 
okay and then hit a create button so once you hit the create button it will create the authentication uh, like the client id and the secret id client secret id so let me just copy it and then paste it here okay and then copy the next client secret and then paste it here okay like this and then we need to hit the save button to save these configurations so now we uh, we configured the we have added the credentials now we need to go to the outgoing mail server in order to configure the outgoing mail so here we need to choose the options google gmail and here we can add a gmail uh, outgoing okay like this and we need to add here our username which is unis method 68 at the rate gmail.com okay and then you need to click on this button uh, continue with your gmail so here you need to choose the email which is this one which is configured uh, with the this client id and here it says that uh, it does not have the access because uh, we need to create a test user so for this purpose we need to go back here and then we need to click this uh, option so here uh, we need to add a test user so in order to add a test user just click add users and here we need to add the email uh, which we have already know 68 at the rate gmail.com and then save it okay so once it is saved this is added okay and then uh, just cancel this option and then click this link again so it will redirect you to this screen and then just select the email and here you need to click the continue button and you need to continue to give the access to Udo to access your email so this is it you can see that the gmail token validated so now we can click on this test connection and it will show that the connection is successful now we can send the email outside Udo so uh, let me try to send the email just by using this contact so uh, I will uh, use, uh, for example, let me create a new contact with the name uh, Eunice and let me add the email here as uh, Udo discussions at the rate gmail.com. Okay. And then save it. Okay. So let me send the email and let me see. Uh, testing out going okay and hit save to hit send to send the email so here you can see the email is sent and let me check the uh, gmail to see if the email is received or not so here you can see that we have received the email it says testing outgoing so the outgoing is working fine it is in the spam folder so it is okay okay now we need to uh, configure the incoming mail server so in order to configure the incoming we need to go back to the uh, configuration and we have to follow the same steps create a new one so we can say gmail incoming and then we just need to select this option here at the username which is uh, yes. and click this link so select the email continue and then continue again so this is done and also the incoming email service is also connected now we will uh, reply back to the email to see if the email is uh, sent again so let me test and confirm so it is working and let me see if we can receive the email back to a reply or not so here if we see uh, let me open it so here you can see that uh, the reply to email is admin at the rate of uh, your company dot example dot com uh, this is because that uh, we have used like we have sent the email uh, from uh, the admin and the admin does not have the valid email so let me see here if we go here you can see the element does not have any valid email so therefore we cannot reply to this email we will use this email uh, and this user to log in and then uh, to send the email because this does have the valid email 
okay so let me give him the access to administration also setting access and then save it and then uh, let me reset the password Okay, so I'm logged in with Udo discussion user. So let me just uh, try to send the email. Create a new contact, for example, um, just with the name Yunus. And here, uh, let me add Udo discussions at the gmail.com. And we can also replace it with Udo discussions. Save it. And then send the email. Okay, so test, testing outgoing one two one 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 and then send okay so let me go to the audio discussions and let me see if the email is received or not go to uh, spam so here we have received the email so let me just uh, reply this email and let's see if we can receive it in Udo or not I uh, replied back testing send okay and then uh, let me uh, go to Udo and let me fetch the email so let's see if by default it fetched the email after five minutes so we cannot wait for five minutes so let me just uh, go to settings uh, we need to go to uh, Schedule actions, mail, so event mail, mail fetch service. So run manually and let me see. So here you can see that we have received the reply back here in Odo. So this is how simply you can configure the incoming and outgoing mail server. So if you find this video useful, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos. Thank you.